Well, we're up here at Newton, Alabama, the farm where I was raised. And at this very spot, I got my first couple of beehives back in 2013, April of 2013. And I got a special friend here today, Mr. Ricky Rourke from Horizontal Bees. And uh, he has a special delivery for me. And it, I thought it would be fitting just to put it basically in the exact same spot where I got had my first couple of beehives. Y'all left early this morning, right? Like yeah. about midnight, a little bit after midnight to get down here. Yeah, we wanted to come down and be with you, that's for sure. That's some, some great commitment there. It's a surprise to me. I asked him, what, probably a year or so ago. It was yeah. after Hive Life, so it hasn't been quite a year yet, if he'd uh, figure out something for me. And uh, he hand-delivered this thing, which is just above and beyond the call of duty. <laughs> but uh, I think he maybe have a couple surprises in there. I haven't seen it yet, really seen what all he's got set up. So let's walk over there, uh, check it out, and then we'll actually put some bees in it. Yeah, as far as video, that. that'll be a lot of fun. So let's head over there. So what we have here is a horizontal hive, and I see... I'm already excited about what you got right there on the front. We know Bruce is uh, just a slight Alabama fan, you know. Uh, he likes to wear that hat all the time. And wife's a little bit of artist, so, you know, of course we had to slap an A on this hive, you know. Absolutely. Besides a couple other things that's on the front. All right, well, awesome. I'm excited about this. Yeah, we couldn't bring a hive down here without an A on it. That would be, be bad, It'd be you know? sacrilegious, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, would be, you know. Oh, that's beautiful already, I can tell, man. It's real nice. You better watch out, Bruce. Your mom will probably take it from you. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to her about that this morning a little bit. She was a little bit familiar with what these are. Mom doesn't get in the bees much, but she does like having them up here. So uh, she was a little bit intrigued by the idea of it. Ruth and, is it Amber? Ruth and Amber. Say hi. So Say hello, Amber. They came Say down hi. with them. A little family trip today. <laughs> so let's look over here and see what we got. Oh, yeah, I like it already. Uh, so tell me about these uh, logos you got on here, Ricky. Well, of course, uh, the right logo there is yours with the B&B. &B, and, you know, we knew this was going to be your mom's farm. So we uh, put a JB on the other side right there. And Oh, yeah. And we got to get a better shot of this back here on the back. This is a, oh, awesome, yeah. too. This may be the best part of it. <laughs> yeah. Alabama A, hey, roll tide. That's yeah. what I say. Yeah. Awesome. Good stuff, man. Yep. We went ahead and put your uh, a copper top on here it's very nice man. yeah it's copper flashing and we also did you uh extra entrance to put some dukes in here if you need to i know bruce is a you know if, if he's a lot like me when i'm out on the farm and i got a sweet colony i'm like man what am i gonna do with this colony this winter you know bam you can just put it right there in that spot or you got that extra queen you know you can roll you a couple frames of brood over you know the next day or a couple hours later just drop that queen in there and She's sure. good to go until you sell that one. Sounds good, man. I like it. So, so this is the main area right here. Going yeah, that's, out your, the main that's your main area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really familiar at all with horizontal hives, so you're just gonna have to totally walk me through how to all use right. this thing and kind of what the features are. And I'm sure there's some other folks out there in the same boat that really don't know much about them. So, kind of tell us how these things work and how this one's set up. All if right. You could. Let's, let's open this bad boy up. Then. Okay. <laughs> they kind of flip this thing around here so it doesn't tip over it's on a little more level ground here i think so uh, i guess you take it you go in from this side right ricky that's correct we're going to go in from this side and this side allows you not to be around your bees as they're coming in and out your entrance okay we did you some small inner covers all right and what's really cool about your hive is if you wanted to get you some honey, here's your queen excluder. Oh yeah, Goodbye. okay. See that, that's awesome. And then for your nuke, you're just gonna slide that one right, right there. there. Okay. And then you're just gonna put your inner cover over it. Okay, five frames. Five yeah. frame, yep. You got your little five framer there. So just set it like that, and then you put the divider wherever it needs to be. Yep, you sure can. Yeah, they're, Rick's. they're really amazing, you know, and maybe, uh, Maybe we can get you talked into getting into one, maybe. <laughs> Enjoying some bees? That's my mom right there. Rick's meeting my mom. But yeah. Uh, I told him, I said, you like to have the bees up here, but you don't necessarily like to get in the bees. No, I've helped with them a little bit when I have to. But, it's, right. but I just seem like they let them do their thing. Oh, yeah. anyway. Well, I'll tell you what, we appreciate your son getting into beekeeping. He is, whether he tells you this or not, he's pretty big in the bee world. And, uh, you know, a lot of people follow him and watch him. You know, I've watched him when I first got into beekeeping. He's definitely been a lot to, to us. And, you know, it was nice meeting him at the Hive Life Conference uh, last year. And the one up in Asheville. 
Yeah, yep, right up there in Sevierville, yep. Sevierville. Yep. <laughs> it looks good. At least you know how to paint. <laughs> well, that's the wife now. I can't take credit for that. That's this lady right back here. She's uh she's the painter. I'm I'm the builder, she's the painter. That it looks really nice. That's pretty fancy. I get into trouble with her sometimes. She's she asks, she says, Can you build me this? And I say, Yeah, and then you know, a day or two after I'm in the project, I'm like, why'd I tell her yeah? I could have told her no. Right? Yeah, no, you can't. <laughs> you better not. Let's get back to this thing. So, All you're right. talking about the nukes. We got a place for two nukes on the side with the entrances right here. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I guess for your main hive, you just kind of. Yeah. You build out from here both ways. Yeah, or? I kind of I kind of let the bees decide which way they want to go. You can, you know, when you put them in here, you're gonna you're gonna see which direction they they want. Um, okay. Up at the house, they like to move. You know, when the rising sun, that's the way our hives move up there. But you know, that could be totally different down here, and that's that's a lot of fun about having these in different places. Is I'm, getting, how a, they, I'm getting a lot of knowledge from see it. how they react. Exactly. They react. Exactly. So right now. I just go get it set up and kind of get everything ready. Mm -hmm. I wanted to put uh, that nuke, the small nuke right there. That's that might be one of the initial stands I put out here. It's right within a few feet of where I put my first Amazing. couple of beehives. That is actually one of the nukes. Uh, it's got a queen, a Pepto Pink Queen from Greg Burns in there. Oh boy, one of them and, mutts. And uh, one of those Appalachian <laughs> mutts. And so we're gonna put those in here. Now it's probably about three frames of bees right now so right. you can help me guide me through mm -hmm. you know what the best way to put them in here is and then we'll just rock and roll and see what happens all right we got it set up here it's leveled really nice and we're going to put this nuke over here in there i think we're just going to put it in this side right here so the bees will be able to easily find it we're just going to put in that little nuke partition there and let them use that lower entrance there and uh, because it is going to start getting cooler here and uh, they might grow a little more slowly we'll just do that and allow them to grow from left to right through the colony and we'll see how they do in the springtime when they start to blow it out we may move the whole colony to the middle and then go from there okay so we're going to go we're going to put them right in here just and the cool thing about these horizontal hives is you can um slide this back and forth and make it however wide you need to so it's going to start off at five frames and then we'll probably just extend it as, uh, as we grow. This is where I treated with Apigard a few days ago. So the little card, they, they pretty much cleaned the Apigard off of here. And the bees seemed perfectly fine. They didn't upset them at all, I don't think. Oh, so there is some there. nectar coming in there. Look at that. So calm. Some of Greg's bees, see how calm they are? Just It's just crazy how calm these bees they are. are. Look at them, isn't that amazing? Hey, Greg, I want some of these queens. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. You can touch them, I mean. Yeah. You know, normally, like, somebody, I've got some hives, you just rub your hand like this, and they're coming right up and, and bumping yeah. your hands. But look at it. Isn't that awesome, though? That is awesome. And see, right here we've got... See, they're pulling over there. Yep. They, um, they got some, yeah, pollen all in there. The nectar coming in. So they're just next level nice. That's awesome, dude. So we'll just put them in the same configuration. Look at that nectar coming in right oh, around here. Look at that brood. That's a nice, nice brood pattern there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For a small colony. So Greg, here you go, man. Look at those bees. Wow. Beautiful. I love them already. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I've had bees like this before. Um, very, very rarely. I've ordered some some queens like from out west, like some Cordovans and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but they didn't do very well. But these are these seem to be already seem to be kind of more hardy productive bees i think just calm 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 wow <laughs> that's awesome if you happen to see the queen let me know ricky yeah i'm, I'm looking for her i don't i, don't see I hadn't even been paying much attention well, if we see her we'll point her out yeah. maybe the next one i have looked but i haven't seen it she has a pink dot on her unless it oh, got okay. unless it got off. chewed off yeah man they aren't they so calm can y'all believe that yeah they're Great. She must have been one of the other frames. We just didn't see. Yeah, we'll look again. Put it here. This food right there. We got some honey food wow. frame. Yeah, these guys are gonna rock it. I hope so. We'll see. They're, they're in. You know, Greg tells me that they kind of tend to brood down a little bit going into winter. Right. And um, but it, you know, these have only been in here for. A couple of months and this colony right here actually was a very weak one when we made it so they've had to build back up already see the queen 
I just use a pawl there. Uh -oh. So for feeding, do you use in-frame feeders typically? Yeah, we use in-frame feeders, absolutely. There she is. There she Boom. is, okay, we got her. There's a beautiful queen right there. See her? Uh -huh. Make sure it focuses. Look how pretty she is, y'all. That's nice. Isn't she beautiful? She just doing her thing, isn't she? Yeah, man, I tell you. That's and that a... pink dot will stand out, too, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it stands out. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing else we're going to do here, Bruce. We're going to take this honey frame out. Okay. Because uh, if, if Cayman Reynolds, he, he likes to uh, use a, a wall of honey so the bees won't cross on over. Okay. And will not build out. So if we put this honey frame on this side, on this side yeah, okay. I think uh, I think they'll build out for you just a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, we don't need a, a wall. And I may actually, let me just grab a, an empty frame okay. like a comb and just put it over here all in right. case they want to expand out a little bit during this flow. Greg, you're going to give me one of those queens. Even if I have to come all the way up there to Ohio and get one from you, I'm getting one of those queens. He's not too far. No, he's not too far away, is he? I looked in my van and I thought, oh, I got to be in here. It's a stink bug crawling around in here right now. <laughs> like something stinks in this. I, I know I know. we just washed this hood. And, Old stink bug over here beside my nose. We got some uh, little pea right here. We got some Premier Foundation that they built out in, awesome. in another colony. And I really like that Premier Foundation. I, you know, I, I got some of it uh, at Hive Life and it has really done well for my bees. So we'll put these in here. We do have a fall flow going. Uh, Ricky, I'm not sure what direction you came in, but there's a lot of cotton. Yes. And there are a couple of fields that haven't quite stopped blooming yet. I think most of the cotton is done around here. The last video I put out actually a couple of weeks ago, I was a little concerned about the food stores. Mm -hmm. But I, I went through them last week when I put some apple garden in these colonies, and they are packing it in. So I think the fall flow must have started for real right about the time that I went through them that day because I put a little food out a couple of days later just to test and see if they would get on a little open feed and they didn't touch it. Wow. So that means there is a fall flow coming in, but y'all, I'm excited about this. Tell you what, let me cover the section up right here so we don't oh, yeah. have, have them rolling into the other section. Here we go. Look, they, didn't, they ain't even bumping you or nothing. They're yeah. doing that. We do have a few high beetles in here, which I hate, but that'll be I right. think most hives have a few high beetles anyway. Let's see where they are. Yep. Not bad though. It'll probably take them a little while to get reoriented to this spot. So Ricky, now what do we do? We just, yeah, we just put that on there. Now you do actually have a little bit of a, on these uh, inner covers, there's a little space here too. If you want to use uh, Apigard or, yep. or a treatment or, or pollen patty, yep. you got a little space to do that. This is actually built up a little above the frames right here as well. Yep. So you got what, maybe a half inch or so? Yep, all together give you got or about take. a half inch, yep. Yep. For uh, treatments, pollen patties, whatever. Yep, whatever you want to put on. Um, huh? I'm sure you planned it that way, right? Well, we try. <laughs> we try. Anyway, look how calm they've already come. We'll close these girls up. Uh, next year, um, if you want to try some some nice gentle queens, just check out Nature's Image Farm. These queens are, are really nice. I'm uh, I'm eager to see how they do going through winter, and um, in the next spring. But if you know, attitude is what I'm looking for. We're gonna see how productive they are when it comes to the honey flow and, and spring buildup. But right now, I'm extremely pleased with the uh, Pepto Pink Queens from Greg, nice. well, Greg Burns up there at Nature's Image Farm. Just gonna close this up. And we're gonna call it a day and it. see, let these bees, I'm gonna actually leave this right. box about right here, let some of these bees find their new home. I anticipate them to be flying around here a little bit trying to figure out where home is, but before long they'll all be in here where they need to be. Yeah, just bump them down there. Yeah, that's, that's actually a really good idea. Yeah, walk yeah, I, like up a little bit. Yep. I like that. Hopefully they'll be able to get established. I imagine we come back in a couple hours and they'll all be just you know, in and out of here. Exciting times, guys. Absolutely. I really appreciate this. Well, Ricky. Yes, sir, brother. So what do you think, man? What do you think of my little operation I here? I tell you what, so far I'm uh, I'm really excited, and I think you said you'd show me around a little bit other of your other bee yards. So, uh, yeah, we'll go walk around a little bit, check out some other stuff, but I appreciate you checking us out. And, yeah. And uh, y'all go check out the website. What's your website? It's is Horizontal Bees. Horizontalbees.com. Horizontal uh, if yep. you're interested in one of these colonies, one of these horizontal hives. And uh, the advantages, I think, Ricky, tell me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. For someone that, that may have some physical ailments, yep. doesn't want to do a lot of heavy lifting, yep. stacking boxes, this is going to be a lot easier to manage. 
Also, maybe if you have some um, some disabilities where you're maybe in a wheelchair, I'm sure Ricky could make you one right. that's more your size that can tilt back. You made one for Justin Ruger. Justin Ruger, yep. he made one for him where he can kind of well, he opens it up and tilts it back, right, so he yep. can get in there very easily. He's in a in a wheelchair, a power wheelchair. Yeah. So Ricky, does, these are custom built. It's not a assembly line, no. all the same. He he kind of he'll ask you what you want, and then he'll try to make it for you. That's right. And so it's a little next level from what just someone that you're going to order a standard, a basic horizontal hive. And I will tell you, you know, it, it's super heavy. I mean, it took both of us to really pick it up and carry it over here. And I anticipate this thing lasting a lot of good years and raising a lot of bees for me. And I hope to have it totally full next year, honey, honey season, and see how it does. I'm real eager to see how it does. But I, you know, I've seen Greg's that's done well, Cayman's has done well. Right. Pretty much everyone I've seen that has them, yeah. as long as the bees are good and managed properly, yeah. it's, a, it's a good environment for the bees. So, and the train comes by. Of course it does, right? That's perfect timing. We got the train coming in. I guess it's time to close. Yeah, absolutely. But I appreciate you, yeah. Ricky. Of course, absolutely, man. I appreciate you being willing to try one out as a big beekeeper, you know, and, and just play with it. And you can teach others how to use it. And, and we do appreciate that. Y'all take care. Be safe. And we'll catch you on the next one. And if you want to see the video where Greg, Mike, and I put the queens in these colonies, 